Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca and I am going to continue with my video series for a flower shop application. Okay, so in this video, um, I'm going to go over how to calculate my total. We've already created uh, different stages. We've already created steps where we collect information. Um, now I want to, and we've been able to bring over the information that we've selected to a final review screen. Now in that same final review screen, I want to go ahead and create a total for the user so they know how much they have to pay. So we click on uh, configure view. Now, if you notice, this is where we had the selections. This is where we brought over the information. Let's open that up so you can see. We have the arrangement uh, that the user selected, the price, the add-on, add-on price, and how many of the add-ons, the quantity. So all of these are read-only. They're being brought over from the other steps where they selected stuff. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna add a field. And this will be called total. Um, we're going to turn this into a currency. And it's going to be a calculated read only. Now, how do we figure out the calculations? There's no data transform that you need to do. We've already brought all that information when we did the previous data transform. So all you have to do is create a custom. And if you notice here, it gives you instructions. It says use the dot. Uh, for field prompts to enter simple equations. And we do need a simple equation. So all we're gonna do is click on the dot and you're gonna see the dropdown. We are in review selections. I'm not gonna go back to the other steps and bring the information because it's already here. So I'm clearly gonna stay in selections, right? I'm already here, so I'm gonna use that. That's not gonna give me any information. So I have to, add the dot again. So it's basically like when you are using Java, um, you can uh, connect to another data object and that data object can connect to another. So for example, if you're creating an application and you wanna call like a car, right? You created an object called a car and they're all uh, Toyotas, for example, you can call Toyota. And then if that one has the models, you can call the models within that if you give each so, uh, if you give yourself permission. So that's the dependency injection. That's the same thing here. So we've already got selection. So we're calling this field that's right on top. Um, and then with the other dot, you're calling fields within that field. Right? So we want uh, arrangement price. That's what we need. So we need the arrangement price. Then we need the price of the add-on times the quantity. So let's do the next piece, and then we're going to put it just like a regular Java equation. So we're going to go back to selections, add on price times, oops, dot selections dot add on quantity, right? And then we follow simple PEMDAS where you have to, um, did I select it or not? No. Oh, it is there. It's just hard to see. Um, you have to put the, the multiplication in parentheses and then do the addition, right? So we've got add on price, add on quantity. Then we're going to put parentheses. Parentheses. So add on price times the quantity plus the arrangement price is going to be our total. We submit. It's calculated read only, so we don't have the user changing the amount that they actually owe. I'm gonna save, save and run. Okay, so let's go through this the application again. Uh, we have the sender, the receiver, all right, we're going to say just because that's $29.99. We're going to add two sets of balloons. 
that's going to be 999 times 2. So um, we don't have to do that right now. There you have it. So 2999 plus 999 times 2, 4997. That's it. Easy peasy. Um, Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for all the comments. I really love those. Um, one more thing I wanted to say, if, if you reach out to me on LinkedIn from this channel, please send me a message because I've been getting a lot of uh, LinkedIn requests and I don't know if they're just bogus or they're actually for people who have watched the channel. So if you watch the channel, send me a message with your request. All right. Thanks again for watching. This is Rebecca from Pavagatham Blog. Have a great day.